guys doing out there? This is J-O-A-T-D. Um, today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to remove um, aluminum from a carbide um, cutting bit. Um, basically, what happened is I bought a set of rims that were aluminum, and the hub of the rim right there in the center would not fit onto the car. Um, it was just a hair too small and what I had to do was shave off a little aluminum uh, inside the inner diameter of the rim to get it to fit on but after about a minute or so of cutting the inside of the uh, hub for the rim I could tell that the um, carbide blade was not cutting anymore and what happened is it got so hot that it melted the aluminum into the actual cutting surfaces of the um, bit itself so basically though those bits that I used to do it with I, I used two of them were basically useless and I just had to grab another bit so now I'm going to show you how to remove the aluminum from the bit itself. What happened is my bit got a lot of aluminum stuck between the blades. It's kind of hard to see, but it's like aluminum in between the blades. So it stopped cutting. So I finally looked it up to see what I could do to stop that from happening. Cause once it's in there, you know, it's this blades um, Dremel bit is basically no good anymore. So what I found out was when you're gonna use these bits and you're gonna cut into a soft metal, you want to spray a lubricant on the bit. So, you know, you spray a little lubricant on the bit, you cut for a little bit, then you take it out spray a little bit more on the bit and then you go back in and start dremeling again you know and just keep doing that repeating that process over and over and over again and you won't have this happen so basically I had to figure out what I was going to do to fix this so I realized that if heat the bit up until the bit is red hot that the aluminum will actually melt and you can just brush the aluminum out of the bit. So we're going to try that right quick and we're going to see if that actually works. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this bit up until it's red hot and I will be able to brush this aluminum out of the bit. Okay. Now let's get it hot. All right. You'll know when it's hot enough because you'll start to see the aluminum bubble on the metal. You just got to make sure that the metal bit is actually made out of something harder than aluminum. Alright. Okay. So as you can see how hot this thing is. Let's see. I'm going to brush this aluminum. See how that stuff just it's just coming off of it. And it's pulling all the aluminum out of the grooves. Let's see. 
did it again. I kind of hardened up before I um, got to brush it out. It's all coming out. See, I'm basically getting it all out of there. There's still some in there. Now what you do is, what you're gonna do is you're gonna heat it up a little more. It's basically all gone though. And that is it. As you can see, I know it's hard to tell, but that bit is clean now. There's no more aluminum in that bit. It's clean. So instead of you having to buy a new bit because of the, the aluminum being, you know, basically welded in there, all you got to do is heat it up till it's red hot, take your steel brush, and just brush it all out of it. I just wanted to show you guys that, you know, I was going to actually buy some new ones. And I was like, man, it got to be a way to get this out of here. And that's it. Just heat it up red hot, brush it out. It's good to go.
Alright guys, this is J-O-A-T-D. Hope this was helpful. And I'm out.